everybody. Welcome to my fun channel. Last season, one of my scholars came up with a team and he said like he wanted like a normal plant which and like a nice bird and a dusk and he's currently actually performing very well and I want to share you share this with you. So if you look at my scholar's performance, he has around like 58% win rate and he's at 2300 MMR with this team. I mean this is quite quite decent decent MMR and when you look at the, the price for, for this for this team it's actually not so expensive so you get like for $85 you get the plant for $150 you get like the bird and for $86 you, you get the dusk I mean it's like $300 team and you can reach 2300 MMR currently so this will probably also work for season 20 so Let's have a look at, at the gameplay. I haven't looked at it myself, so I will do this together with you. Let's have, have a look how, how the gameplay is. Um, yeah, but I actually doubled down on this on this build, build and, and bought, just bought another one because it's it's so freaking cheap and you, you reach like very high MMR. I mean, I want also like if you're interested to get, give your scholars like a solid team, then maybe this is an option, like a cheap team, a cheap team, not so expensive team, where you can also reach high MMR. You must also understand that I must say that, like the scholar who's using the team, he's he's quite experienced. So if you give it to a newbie, he probably will not go to two K MMR, but still he will be reach decent MMR. And if he like learns over time, then he probably probably will get better at it. So let's have a look at the gameplay. See, like he plays against like quite a nice bug team with like aqua now so the the meta has changed a little bit more to, towards aqua currently and you see like he has like nice aqua team and he's he's like fight like playing against it so the aqua has basically like throwing his cards he's bas basically gray is basically uh skipping the round he has some good cards on, on the hand but he's not doing anything um yeah, I'm not so familiar with, with the team, but but yeah, pro probably I would have skipped as well, or maybe I would have thrown the, the prickly trap just to, to, to put some damage, but he decided not to, he has his reasons, but yeah, it's up to you. So next move, he now he throws the prickly trap, uh, prickly trap, he could have thrown the cactus earlier, but yeah, it's like, it depends on, on, on you, yeah. But now he's also throwing basically, he's going with the, this is kind of a like Terminator build, kind of half Terminator build. He has like this chomp and then chocolate do and like allergic reaction. So this also deals like more damage when it's debuffed. And this thing here, which actually reduces the speed of two rounds. So this is also interesting. It gives a lot of damage and also a lot of uh, shield, so it's quite strong, strong card in my opinion. The, the nice stri strike. It's a little bit underestimated in the moment, so it's why why you getting it as so cheap. I don't know. It's like, it's, I mean, the market in general is quite quite down, but um, but uh, so you get axis quite cheap in general. But this is quite a good good deal. So he survives like with one, one HP. He gets a little bit lucky as well, but yeah, let's speed this up a little bit. So he throws like a lot of like makes some damage here and I must say like you see he, he got like two pumpkins very smart move and he's like protecting his plant like basically with one HP a quite quite funny move so he's fearing him but basically the fear is useless because yeah he's like not feared anymore because there were others and he's stealing energy that's nice yeah so yeah now now we get like these cards they they should do damage like see now he you have like you have like some good like distribution of damage here you have like with this bird it does like you have like really damage cards here and zero out card the bird is also the most expensive one but still with 150 dollars it's like a ch you can it's fine in my opinion so yeah now he's like trying to get rid of the plant Finally, the opponent managed to get rid of the plant. And look at this damage here. Wow, this damage. I mean, this is quite some damage. And the card was not nerfed. This risky feather was not nerfed. And it does so much damage. 
and the egg bomb got nerfed a little bit so that's maybe also why this is like a little bit cheaper but still the egg bomb is still like still good card in my opinion so he's like now he's like you see like this this guy is also doing a lot of damage and stunning I, I didn't see it like maybe it made a de debuff as well because if you like if the if if this is like debuffed if the opponent is debuffed this deals actually 130 damage so a lot of damage here this team has a lot of damage this also explains pro probably why this is actually so 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 good card so he puts the aroma and takes down he he sacrifices his bird and goes one versus one so he thinks he has better chances with the dusk one versus one what makes sense because he he has this diddly doodly do which basically just gets rid of the fear and then he has this card oh yeah and he stuns wow yeah yeah and as he has a lot of basically shield this is a good move yeah you put the aroma on, on the bird and then you go one versus one like with a kind of terminator and you basically just tear down yeah i mean it's like insane so yeah that's that's re you see like this this team is quite strong and as i said like it's not so expensive like I mean, the plant is like basic plant as you can see with what it has you know and then the, the bird also same thing if you look a little bit into the bird what what it actually has is yeah here the 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 tri feather we had look peacemaker as i said like eggshell the last one so good combination with the zero card so you throw this card first and then you throw the other card let's have a look at this guy it's also not so 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 uh common so it's like a little bit like an, an underdog build so you don't see this build so often i think that's why i also wanted to share with you this opportunity like basically to yeah to have like here a good team cheap team with like high mmr yeah i think that's that's really talking for itself we had, had a look at the gameplay and again when you look like at the at the mmr you can reach 2300 mmr i don't know how for how long this was so he had like he he came up like basically he built his he had to build up a little bit so it's, it's i don't i don't know how, how long you can consist on this high mmr but still a good team for this price in my opinion so thank you very much for listening and if you like the video give me a like if you want more content like this please subscribe to the channel thank you very much for the support see you in the next one bye bye